Okay, today's video is along the lines of the last video. And um, it's kind of along the lines of reusing products if we can, so I don't have to buy reusable things. So like paper towels, for instance. I am trying to use up all the paper towels we have, but I'm getting low and I'm gonna have to rebuy and I don't really wanna rebuy if I can help it. And I have paper towels sitting on the counter and we use a lot of them. I do try to reuse stuff in the trash to you know, clean up oil grease and stuff like that and instead of using paper towels, I'm trying to be conscious of that sort of thing. And I know they make washable paper towels and we've had them, but just re-rolling them and sticking them on the roll, you know, it's just a pain in the butt. But we have been using um, for a while now, reusable napkins, I have a ton of these. And these actually are just kitchen cloths, I guess, but we use them as napkins. And I haven't been buying napkins at all and Steve uses a ton of napkins, so do the grandkids. We're using these and we're trying to consciously use these and we've been doing really good with them. So I'm gonna try to do it with paper towels. I'm gonna take our paper towel roll and hide it under a cabinet. I can still get to it quickly, but if it's out of sight and right where it used to live, I'm gonna put a basket of these. And I'm gonna try to just wipe up all spills, clean up counters um, with these and then have a, a bin, I guess. I don't know, the only reason I haven't done this before is because of the whole, where do you put this when it's wet and soggy and gross? I was thinking of putting like a bucket under my sink maybe, and that'll be our old gross bucket because I'm doing laundry often enough now that I'm minimalist. I'm trying to do it once a week or maybe twice a week now if I've got more of this sort of thing. If I'm trying to do a load more often instead of, I did try the whole one load a day, I just couldn't keep up with it. It wasn't enough laundry to do all of our laundry in one load. I'm trying to go, you know, like when I do the sheets is when I do all the laundry on that day. Today's laundry day. So that's what this is coming up from. I'm putting the paper towels away and I'm gonna try this. Under here is my little bucket of these. Look. So I'll put this little basket, I guess, on the counter. It's not pretty. Maybe I'll find something else that could sit on the counter, but I'm gonna put paper towels away. Then we'll just be more likely to grab these. And I have a ton of these in the laundry that need to be folded and put away. This is gonna be out here and hopefully we can do this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully Steve's on board too, but we're such in a habit of grabbing paper towels for everything especially meat, blood, juice, grease, you know. I can wash these, we'll get them out. We'll see, if people can get baby poop out of baby diapers, we can get grease and blood out of napkins. That's what's gonna happen here. Another thing I was thinking about, I'll have to get a bucket for under the sink um, because since I've been decluttering, look how empty it is under there. Pretty nice. So that'll be awesome, I think. Another thing I was thinking about is uh, we use a lot of, of Ziplocs and I have reusables here, you know, I've got a bunch of them. I've got more in the dishwasher and I've been trying to use them more like I have them in my fridge right now. I'm going to put these, you know, on top of them. So I have to dig through them to get them, to get a Ziploc, a quick Ziploc. If I can just throw it in this, I can use it real quick, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to put that on top to where they're still there if I need them, but I can get to them faster and I'll try to use them versus the Ziplocs. So that'll cut down on some purchasing. Another thing is paper goods. I already stuck these here because we use these, you know, bowls and stuff. Just real quick, like there's one right there. Steve was eating something, he grabbed a bowl. Um, but I'm, I'm putting, I've decided I'm gonna put things like where we normally would reach down here and grab for uh, plates, like I have these here, plastic reusables. And we've been using these versus our plates. I might even take the paper towel or the paper goods out to where we can't use them. But like this, this bowl, little kids bowls, will totally suffice for just grabbing one of these. And I'm doing the dishwasher every single day. Um, so that should be no problem. And before the day starts in the morning, I unload the dishwasher and get it empty. So it's working really good. But I'm gonna put a couple plates, real plates. Hopefully I can remember to keep restocking them. But if I put these here, I think we'll be more likely to actually use a plate because this is where we'd normally reach down there and grab a paper or paper plate. So we might as well grab one of these and use them. So I'm gonna try to put things in the areas that they are and be more likely to reuse them. Like plastic silverware. We really don't use them much anymore, but if they're not in here, or maybe they'll just all be together to where I can't see them, 
then I'll be more likely to grab something else. Or maybe I can put, you know, just as a reminder, I'll just put a couple forks in here with them and a couple real spoons in there to where I'm more likely to, oh, be mindful of, I'm gonna not use plastic, I'm gonna grab a real one. That is working, like the, we never use regular knives. Get them out of there. We use these steak knives only for carnivore. So let's get them out of there. We'll put a couple things in here that we'd more likely to use and more likely to grab. The straws, instead of using paper straws, we're using the reusable straws. Just, I'm gonna try to consciously think of keeping things near where the disposable things are and not using them. So that's my goal for right now for that stuff. And I can't remember if I've told you guys about these before. I hate to tell you to buy something, but um, somebody in a minimalist group told me about these. They're called Skoy, S-K-O-Y, and they're dish scrubbies. And she said she uses these and throws them in the dishwasher every single night in the top rack. And they last six months plus. And I've had it way longer than six months. This is my brand new one. It comes in a two pack for $6.99. Um, and no joke, like this is my used one that I've been using for a long time. And it's never had an odor, not once. It goes in the dishwasher top rack every night, comes out clean and I use it to scrub everything. So instead of using sponges, I've been using those. And I still have a backup. I gave the kids these for Christmas so they can do it too and they love them. Definitely recommend those if, if you're in the, if your sponges are gone and you've lost, you've gotten rid of them all and you're gonna buy a pack of sponges, you might as well get a pack of these. Amazon will put a link, but um, use up the sponges you have first. You can throw them in the microwave and um, sanitize them and reuse them for a long time, but they do get gross, but not these apparently. I'm still going on that one and it's lasted me and I love it. It's really great. As we replace things, maybe we can replace things with more permanent things, like maybe a, um, you know, like the Ziplocs. If I really get into the Ziplocs and I'm using them like crazy, I was thinking about that actually too. I was gonna say I could get some more, but I'm not buying any. I'm gonna try to use the ones they have now. But I'm going to, in that same drawer where I put the Ziplocs, I'm gonna put a couple Tupperware in there. Cause Ziplocs are usually kind of smaller things. So if I stick a couple Tupperware right on top where those the Ziplocs go right on top of the reusable Ziplocs, I think I'll be more prone to just grabbing, oh, let me think about it. Let me, can this go in a little Tupperware reusable? I say Tupperware, but you know what I mean, a reusable storage container. I'm gonna try to do that. And I think that will help me. I mean, rather than walking all the way over there to get one, I might be more likely in the same heat of the moment. I'm right here where things get packed and you know put together and leftovers get put in the fridge. I might be more likely to grab one of those. And I've been trying, I've been doing really good with the reusable Ziplocs, but I've never covered them. I still do use them sometimes, but I'm trying not to. Things like that, jars, reusing jars after you know peanut butter's empty or whatever it would be. Um, little tubs for sauerkraut and things like that. I've been using those like crazy. Even if I'm just keeping them to just pour my grease in, so I don't have to pour it in a paper plate or something. You know, I usually try to throw grease I'll save it, but I have so much, I just can't save it all. It's too much tallow and stuff, but I'll scrape it out or let it get cold and scrape it out. But I will use trash that's already in the trash and get it out and then put it in the dishwasher, my, my little air fryer. I've been doing that, been mindful of it, but I'm gonna really try to not use any Ziplocs because I think I can do it. Things like that. I'm sure I'll think of tons more things. Uh, water bottles, uh, we are going to try, and we have been trying to not use any water bottles. We're going to try even harder because I do keep some on hand in case we're running out the door. Um, but we do use our reusable water bottles all the time. But sometimes, like if we're going to the zoo or something like that, it's like, oh, we'll throw a couple waters in there just to have them or have them in the car. But if we can get to not using the plastics, that would be even better because the microplastics and stuff, it would just be better for the environment, better for everything. And it's free to use a reusable and I've got some, I got plenty of them. Just trying to be conscious of all of those things makes you not spend. And when you're trying to not spend, it makes you think of all the things that you could do to avoid spending. It's been really fun. Just, you know, it's better for the environment and better for the wallet, let's say that. Thanks for joining me on that. If you have other ideas of reusable -y things, um, like, you know, shopping bags, things like that, they do help. But if I force myself to reuse things, I become better at reusing things because it doesn't take much more and I'm lazy. Um, so purposely 
intentionally using something for, again, I like by my nature, I feel like I do like that, but it's so, in the heat of the moment, something spills, I'm grabbing paper towels, you know, that kind of thing. But I can grab cloths and wash them and I don't have a problem with that. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So thanks for joining me. See what you guys also do. Feel free to put comments in there. If there's other things you could think of that I didn't think of, I'm sure as this goes along, I'm gonna think of things all the time, but it's been fun and eye-opening and I'm trying my hardest to not spend, and it's working. I'm not spending much at all. Yay. Enjoy your life.